Welcome back everyone, it's Death here. I'm going to explain you now the new features with the transmised anchors, dots or nails, however you want to call them, and how to change them. Uh, first I'll load here what it normally acts like without changing it. So let me place the mice here so I don't fall to my death. Now you see this one will turn, these one will swing a bit. I have them connected to ground except the red one because he doesn't need one. So you know, you see what happens here, nothing really special. So now let's go to, um, now let's copy the map to clipboard, this is really important. And now we go to the part which is more complicated. Now we need to find the anchors, which you see here are these ones. So we use select and we check the X and the Y. At this moment all the Y's are the same, they are 235. So I only have to look at the X. So I have to look at the X in the XML, this is here, from the O part. So we have to start at this part. Before that we don't have to look at any X, that's not needed. So we look here, you see the Y, and now we see the X, 95. That means this part is equivalent to this red anchor here. This, this piece of code I select right now. That means we need to add something to this one and I'll show you what to add. First you copy this one. That's uh, basically simple so you have the thingy already. And you change C into MV. And now you copy that again and you place it again but now you make it an MP. So you get MV and MP. Um, MV stands for speed and acceleration and MP for power which means if the V is really high it will turn really fast but if P is really low it will slow down quicker so let's make this really high and 10,000 would be okay and let's make this MP just um, 200 maybe and let's see what happens here so this is the red anchor Okay, I must have done something wrong. Or the MP has to be higher. I think the MP has to be higher. The power is not high enough to uh, move it forward. So let's hire it a bit and see if that works or something. You can see it already behaves a bit different than the other one. But I'm just feeling right now. Let's just make it 10,000 as well. Then it probably works. And if it doesn't, then I did something wrong and I don't know what. Oh, you can see it now starts to spin around. Yep. So it doesn't really have that much power. If we increase it with a lot, it's like I think now if I um, add like a balloon or something, it will break it really simply. Like it stops really easily. But if I make the power higher, like uh, a lot higher, let's let's make it this high. I think it will start spinning really quick. Yeah, as you can see, and it doesn't really simply stop as well, it will continue on. So, that's that's quite interesting. Also, if you wanted to turn the other way, you go back to the documents, you look for MV, and you make that negative. If you make it negative, and now load the XML again, you will see it turns the, the, the opposite way. This also works with the other anchors. So let's place the same code in the other anchors just to show you. Here and here after the C value. And let's remove that space and let's make them turn a bit differently. So there's a bit uh, of a change. Let's make this one slower. Uh, 5000 maybe and make the strength only 10,000. Yeah, let's try this out. It's it's a lot of fun to work with. It can make some mechanisms a lot more easier to make. You see the middle ground here is easier is stopped pretty easily and this one turns pretty well. Fun thing is you can also make them turn in the wrong direction. And that's what I'm doing right now. It's, it should turn 
um, the other way, but it's turning backwards now. So well, I hope you learned something from this. Um, it also works for yellow anchors, uh, by the way, but yellow anchors can only move about 10, 10 degrees and then it will stop. So it will move up and then it doesn't go further. Um, yeah, I hope this helped you and you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.